All right, Godfrey, what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at a Huawei phone. Uh, this is a, a, t a smartphone that's geared towards the Chinese market. Mm -hmm. un unsubsidized, it retails for approximately under hundred dollars. Okay. And it uses the Synaptics uh, ClearPad 2 series technology. And what we're doing here is that we want to have all the high performance of touch screen, but uh, we've been working with partners like Huawei uh, to reduce the cost of it at the same time. This is a traditional uh, sensor. Um, it's two layers, so we have two, one layer for transmitted, transmitting uh, and one layer receiving. And this together detects the touch. What we've done is, working with partners like Huawei, uh, develop a sensor that's one layer. So not only is it thinner, but it's a lot um, more cost effective. And if you look at the visual quality of it, I'm not sure if you can tell from here, but at high angles, you, if you look through it, you're, you don't have to shine the light through uh, a lot more material, and the optical quality is a lot better. The other thing I want to show you too is our Series 3 phone. This is in the high-end phones like the HTC One X. And this is when people or the phone companies really want the high performance. Let's activate it. This is a competitive phone using a competitive touch solution. Let's give you a quick demonstration. Again, this is a, our Series 3 is our high performance product. Uh, it typically works very well, uh, no problem there. But if we get into uh, tests like linearity, by the way, we're using an application that you can uh, download off synaptics.com. And this is basically a, a slug that represents um, a finger. If we draw a straight line, it's nice and linear. You can see a big difference between a touch solution from synaptics and a touch solution from Atmel. Now part of the reason why our touch is so superior is we're able to really get through a lot of the noise and cut to the true signal. Now another big problem that we are seeing with touch phones is that when there's a high humidity or you're sweating uh, or it's raining out, um, you know, it really impacts the touch performance. Right now when everything's dry, oops, everything works perfectly, but if your finger's wet a little, you really see some problems with the competitive solution. As you see, it's reporting um, a lot of false positives, some cases up to four fingers, but if you go back to our solution, it's tracking true. I'm gonna dry this off and pause it for a second. Uh, another big challenge that we have uh, with smartphones today is noise rejection. So uh, in the case of um, noise sources, Noisy chargers are a huge problem uh, for mobile phones. And if we go through it normally, everything's, nothing's charging right now, there's no load on it. But if we plug in a charger. Now this isn't the stock charger, this no, is? No, this is just an off the shelf charger. Um, as you can see here, that noise that's introduced by the charger is really causing false positives with a competitive Atmel solution and it's really not a good touch solution. But if you charge our phone with it, it's no problem at all. We've analyzed the noise source that comes in through the charger and we've neutralized it and uh, becomes a really good experience.